it's a, a deadly situation that everybody's out here dealing with, and for her to be playing with it like that, I don't really think it's a good situation at all. This Cape Coral woman is accused of coughing on police officers, knowing full well she had COVID-19. NBC2's Gage Goulding is in Cape Coral tonight, walking us through coughing Catherine's night of crime. <coughs> It wasn't coughing that initially got Catherine Norris in trouble. Police say she threatened her boyfriend with a kitchen knife, all while her one-year-old child was in the home. A knife up to someone? Yeah, she's obviously not okay. Once the cuffs came out, so did the coughs. <laughs> Police say Catherine wiggled her mask down and wouldn't stop coughing on officers. When somebody that tells you they're positive then tries intentionally to cough in your direction, cough on you as you're seat belting them into a car for their safety, it's pretty disheartening. She didn't stop there. Police took her here to the Cape Coral Hospital for a COVID-19 test. They say inside she wouldn't keep her mask on. Catherine even fought with other patients and nurses, all while waiting for the results that she does indeed have COVID-19. It's a deadly situation that everybody's out here dealing with, and for her to be playing with it like that, I don't really think it's a good situation at all. For police officers, being coughed on isn't a new thing. Even pre-COVID, People spit on us, people strike us, people shoot at us, people do all sorts of things when they when they think they're going to jail. However, when coughing sends COVID droplets flying through the air that could be as deadly as bullets, it's much different. That's why she's now facing a charge of resisting officers with violence. Her intent to try to intentionally infect our officers is essentially what got her the with violence charge. You was already in a bad situation as it was, and then you made it worse. It's a bad situation for those officers, too. They were wearing masks, but still have to get tested. More importantly, try not to bring it home to their families. And they have kids, they have wives, they have babies. Well, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Tonight, Catherine remains locked up in the Lee County Jail on an $80,000 bond. Reporting in Cape Coral, Gage Golding, NBC2.